What is going on, BBL crew? This is your boy, Perfect Blue, here with BBL Playoffs Round 1, where your San Diego State Azelfs will be taking on the Montreal Melodics, coached by Matt O'Shea. So before we get into the game, let me talk about how we finished our BBL season, just for those of you who don't know. So, obviously I stopped uploading BBL because, well, everyone as a whole kind of stopped. So, it, yeah, it, it got pretty bad. Everyone got really lazy. It's no one's fault necessarily, it's just that, you know, people got lazy. And, it, you know what? It's everyone's fault, actually. Yeah, we're all at fault. Anyways... We finished the season 9-3 plus 25 as the number one seed. So, yippee, I did something, guys. And, um, in round one, we are facing the eight seed coach by Matt O'Shea. He went 6-6 six and six plus 3 during the regular season. But Matt is no sleeper. Remember, he's the one who gave us our first loss with the dumb Blaziken crit. But, anyways, we're prepped, we're ready, and we think that we can defeat Matt O'Shea. Uh, I'd like to thank a couple people for Mox, um, Epix and Obi. And then one other guy gave me a mock. Fuck, who gave me a mock? Okay, Epix and Obi, thank you so much for helping me out. Really means a lot. Really gave me a lot of confidence before my game. And yeah, let's get into the team that I brought. So we have a uh, kind of the same Lugia here with Aeroblast, Shadow Ball, Substitute, Calm Mine. Uh, no roost to recover, because I feel like just sub, I could sub on a Bronzong Toxic. And with this spread, a Bronzong cannot break my sub with a Gyro Ball. That's important, because it'll allow me to call mind up on it, if need be. Next, we have a Fizz Def Giratina. A lot of attack as well on this thing. Uh, with Shadow Sneak, Earthquake, Shadow Force, and Toxic. My... The, the gimmick behind this is toxic and then shadow forcing. Do a lot of damage and then sneak if I have to. Earthquake is there because Blaziken sucks. I don't... It, it's a busted mon, guys, okay? Yeah, listen to me. Next, we have um, Moonblast, Power Gem, Calm Mind, Stealth Rock, Mega DNC, Max Speed, Max Special Attack. Uh, nothing special, I just needed a rocker, so I just put it on my team. Next, we have our Groudon spicy ruby set this week we have precipice blades fire punch hidden power ice rock polish with the weakness policy so my goal is to take a hit and then precipice blades fire punch hits everything except altaria however matt last time against the groudon didn't make evolve his altaria fearing the precipice blades so that's where we bop him with the hidden power ice boys he, he won't he won't see this one coming uh yeah, Ruby, just a surprise monster. Next, we have Victini, Psychic, Blue Flare, Energy, Bulk, Dazzling Gloom, just four attacks. Um, we need to be able, I need to be able to switch moves, because Specs kind of fucked me over last time. So, yeah. Uh, I have a Sash. I, I didn't know what to put on it, honestly. I should have put Extra Belt. I used to have Extra Belt. Next, we have... Z Sludge Bombs are Arcry with Dark Pulse, Sludge Bomb, Psychic, Nasty Plot. Poisonium Z, I mean. Um, this is a really good breaker against this team. So, looking at the lead matchup, I just want my rocks. So, I'm going to lead with the DNC. You know, get up the rocks. Uh, I did not see the Bronze on lead, honestly. And as you can see on the screen, uh, he does choose to lead Bronze on. So, uh, yeah, that's a... Uh, that's not looking well for your pal Blue. Anyways, we have our six. Matt has his six. Let's hop right into the battle. All right, so here we are at the battle. As you can see, Matt decides to issue that challenge. Pokemon trainer Matt O'Shea, YouTube extraordinaire. He leads Taco. So as soon as he sees Taco, I'm like, well, crap. Uh. Yeah, I don't want him to get rocks, so I don't care if I lose DNC here. I just want my rocks up. 
chip on things, the Arceus bug is obviously nice. Uh, the Blaziken also to chip that down is nice. Altaria uh, doesn't like the rocks. So I'm just going to get my rocks up, prevent him to get rocks. As he's actually going to set up a light screen. So yeah, interesting play. Light. So right here, I figured that he's going to take advantage of my special attackers and win with a Sword Sam Blaziken. Which makes me also think that he's three attacks. Because why would you have Protect with Light Screen? So here I'm going to go into Lugia. He, uh, his play was never to Toxic. He was either going to Gyro Ball or set up his rocks. So here I am with Lugia. I'm going to set up a sub. And as you can see, he is not Toxic. He is Gyro Ball. So Matt, you know, doing his research, he, he knows I like the subs. He, he knows that my Lugia does not like the Toxic. So... Yeah, next I'm going to try to calm mind on this thing. You know, there's a light screen up too, so... My Shadow Balls aren't going to be doing this much. And, you know, Lugia only has 90 special attack. Bronzong, you know, it's a fat spadef wall if need be. So here he's going to Gyro Ball. And my sub's going to fade away. And so what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to set up to the point where... I'm behind a sub because like I outspeed everything except the Arceus and a Blaziken with a speed boost up. So what I need to do is make sure that I'm set up to the proper range to where like you know I can Oko shit. So yeah that's what I'm trying to do right now. So here I'm going to just fire off a Shadow Ball to try and kind of see a spread. As you can see that does a lot of damage. But it's a crit, so I'm like, yeah, this Bronzong's definitely Spadef invested, or Lugia is just really damn weak, which like it could be both. So, Bron Bronzong's the go, okay, and he's a Taco the Bronzong. That's a good name. I'm just going to set up another sub as he is going to actually set up another lay screen. So that's a bit annoying, but as you can see, we do see three moves on this. And Explosion was the last thing in the back of my mind. I did not expect Explosion. But then when you think about it, Light Screen, you know, set up the Explosion. Set up the Light Screen, then Explode. And that's just, you know, insane prep. As he is going to Explode. So, the Tacos Explode. Taco Explodes. Um, just like... Uh, I was going to make a Mexican joke there like you know how mexican food makes you poop a lot yikes anyways yeah so bronzong goes down to the explosion as here he is going to go into his own ruby the drapeon so yeah he has a ruby too and i i, I want to show my rubies better so i'm going to just arrow blast light screens up but i'm at plus two that does nothing <laughs> and he's whirlwind so it's like he's not even a soul fest so, yikes. Uh, I go into my Darkrai, and I'm like, you know what? I can't do anything to this, so I'm just going to Dark Pulse you, because, I don't know, time was running and down, I didn't, I didn't know what to do. So, luckily we get the flinch, and then I figure, wait a minute, if he's a Whirlwind, he's probably Knockoff, Pursuit, Poison Jab. So I'm going into Deancey, because Earthquake is not a possibility on this and he's going to actually toxic and i bounce that back you know like a you know bouncing those toxics back light screen wears off though that's a that's a remember that okay so i set up a calm mind here and matt doesn't like matt begins to get scared here as there's a calm mind Yancey and his bronzong's down so like he's going to whirlwind out of there and I'm fine unless he goes into Blaziken, and he goes into Blaziken. Cause my thought process is, if this is Protect with a special Blaziken, that's really bad. Cause he can have the Hidden Power Steel. He could also have like Earthquake if he's physical, I guess, to hit the Victini and the Deancey, as well as the Corsola, cause Corsola is a goat. But here he's going to Swords Dance, as you can see. He thinks light screen's still up, so Matt's calc kind of broke there. He kind of forgot as 
the crit is not going to matter, but Deancey, you know, sitting at plus one, plus one, uh, his Arceus set last time couldn't break it, so now he goes into Drapion, and I'm like, that, that's not a counter, my boy, not even at, like, plus one, like, see ya, and, you know, Deancey, Mega Deancey, Kurosawa, there's three Pokemon left, and I'm at plus one, plus one. As this power gem, the yeah, I'm power gem, that's how bad I am. It's going to knock out this Shelmet 2.0, which a Shelmet 1.0 would have been better, to be honest. Yeah, a Shelmet 1.0 would have been better. So here he's going to go into Thunder Styrian. Uh, for whatever reason, I just click Moonblast because, like, it. <sighs> I'm 160 special attack. Like, it's going to Oko at plus one after rocks. And just in case, like, he was, like, Sped up Charty, I guess. I don't know. So now he goes into his Altaria, and it's no way outspeeding me. And guys, Mega Deancey picks up a 6 0. Uh, so a huge turn one. If he gyro balled with Bronzong, we would have lost Deancey. I don't think it would have been the biggest drawback, as I could have gone into my Groudon after, or my Victini, uh, depending on which mod I want to go into. And yeah. That is the game against Matt O'Shea. Yikes. Uh, we, we pick up that 6-0. Which, like... I guess, like, I'm proud that I won. Because Matt beat me the first time. And I was like... The whole season, I was like, Matt, you better make playoffs. You, you better... Why is your girlfriend playing? You better make playoffs. Stop. End this. Because, like, I wanted this matchup with Matt. I know that Matt's a very good battler. I've never beat Matt. He beat me in DDL twice. Like, we don't talk about that playoff game at all. That scars me. So, I'm glad that we got the win. But the way we won, he didn't thinking that Ice Green was up. You know, he could have went for a Shadow Call crit on my Dancy. And he could have gotten it, because he was actually Scope Lens to get the crit against my Giratina or my Groudon. Which, that that's some spicy, like... I know Tails did that. I, I'm 100% sure Tails thought of that bullshit, okay? 99% sure, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I won't put all my money on it. Anyways, yeah, that's our battle against Matt. Uh, good game to Matt. Next round, we are either playing Darude or uh, Quinn. We beat Quinn in the regular season. Darude has Mega Metagross Giratina. Personally, I want to play Darude. Everyone was like, oh, look at his big stall team. But, you know, I want this. I want the good matchups. But I wouldn't mind facing Quinn either because Quinn is a great guy, a uh, close friend, and a side buddy right here. And, yeah, Quinn, he, he's the GOAT. I'd love to rematch him. So, yeah. That was our BBL round one playoff game. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, share it with a friend, and just shitpost in the comments again. Alright, see you guys.